Okay, right, here we are with our next bit of um, probability generating functions, and we're going to look at how we can use probability generating functions to derive the mean and the variance of a distribution. Okay, now I want you throughout this whole thing to hold in your head what we already know about the mean and the variance of a discrete distribution. So think year one, so year, year 12, um, the first ever topic we did on statistics, we were told that e of x is the sum of x lots of p x equals x. Okay, remember that? And we were told that our var of x is e of x squared minus e of x squared. Okay, hold that in your head <laughs> because that is going to be um, very, very useful. Okay, so knowing that, we know that a probability generating function is given by that. That is what a probability generating function is. It's t, of the x, t to the x, px equals x. So because that looks identical to this, except for instead of an x here, we've got t to the x, well, that is what e of x is, so this must be what e of t x is, okay, so that is our mean, okay. If we then differentiated this, if we differentiated this probability generating function with respect to t, when I differentiate it, I can obviously call it g dash x of t, and then I'd bring my x is my power, so I bring my x down, and then I reduce the power by 1, so that becomes e to that, and then obviously the same here. This is just a constant because it, we're not differentiating it with respect to x. So that just stays as a constant. So that stays there. Bring the x power down, take, subtract it by 1. Okay. If we then substitute in t as 1, okay, we use our dummy variable t to be 1, then this expression becomes, um, if we put it into here, if we're putting in t as 1, it, we become the sum of x lots of 1, times the probability of x equals x, i.e. it becomes that, and that is identical to what we already know about discrete distributions, which is e of x. So that is our mean. Okay. So <laughs> if a x is a discrete random variable with a probability generating function gxt, then to find the mean, or e of x as we call it, we do g, we differentiate it and sub 1 in as our t value. Okay, so it's g dash x of 1. That is important. Okay, and that's why it all works. Hopefully that makes it so obvious why that works. I think that's really clever. Okay, and in a very similar way, um, we've got an expression for the, uh, the variance of x. So if x is a discrete random variable with a probability generation function g x of t, then the variance is g double dash of x of 1. So that's differentiating it twice and substituting in 1 as t. Add g dash of x, which is 1, so i.e. the mean, take away the mean squared. Okay? Now, you may be asked to prove these you can quote. Um, I don't know if they're in your formula book or not. Let's have a little look-see quickly. Uh, P, G, S. Yes. Um, yeah, they both are, actually. Um, on page 23, up here, it says probability generating function of x is blah, blah, blah and e of x is this, and bar of x is that. Okay, so that's really handy, that's in your formula book uh, on page 23, that's our magic page at the moment, page 23. Um, right, so you may be asked to, you can quote them as standard, um, unless it says otherwise, but you may be asked to prove the two standard distributions in your exam. Okay, so that's what we're going to look at now. So, here we go, I'm going to do it from scratch. Now I'm hoping you'll be able to see this pen. I don't want to write in too small a pen, um, but there we go. So, obviously, hopefully you can see this, obviously um, our PGF, our standard PGF, is the sum of um, the probability mass function times t to the x. Okay, um, so let's write out what, we, what that means. Okay, so that means um, I've got the probability that x is 0, Obviously, t to the power of 0 is 1, so that would be on its own, plus uh, the probability that x is 1 times t to the power of 1, plus the probability that x is 2 times t squared, plus the probability that x is 3 times t cubed, up to um, the probability that x is n times t to the n. 
okay? Right, if I then want to differentiate it, so if I differentiate this obviously, uh, with respect to t, obviously that is going to disappear here, okay? That is going to go to just the probability of x equals 1 because my power of t is going to disappear. I'm going to bring the 2 down. That stays as a constant. Don't forget this probability mass function, the p of x equals 0, p of x equals 1. They're just constants, okay? Uh, plus 3 lots of the p of x equals 3 t squared up to n lots of the p of x equals n t to the power of n minus 1, okay? So then, if I put in t is 1, then I get that g dash of x of 1 is going to be uh, the probability... What do I get then? I get uh, the probability that x equals 1. Oh yeah, plus 2 lots of the probability that x equals 2. Plus 3 lots of the probability that x equals 3. Blah, 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 blah. Up to n lots of... Um, P lots of x equals n. Oh, I've put in too many brackets on, but you understand that like you get the principle. Okay? And so that is just, or that is we're adding x lots of the probability of x. It's easier to see here, but that's one lot of the probability x equals one, two lots of the probability x equals two, three lots of the probability x equals three. So that is that. Okay? And we know from our discrete distribution work that that is e to the x that is our mean okay and that's how we calculate it right we're going to carry on because we're going to go up to the um variance so then we can continue this um and if we continue this by doing the g double dash of x of t so we're here and we're uh, we're differentiating this with again with respect to t. So what we would get is two lots of p x equals two plus six p x equals three t plus twelve p. This is here. Um, I don't know I've done that one. Oh, the next one up, but I haven't put it in. Uh, t squared up to. It's easier if you put the n one in because then you can see what's happening. Okay, up to that point there. And then if we put t as 1 in, what we get is we get uh, 2 lots of px equals 2 plus 6px equals 3 plus 12px equals 4 plus up to n, n minus 1, px equals n. Okay? And so if we replace, if we think about what that actually means, we're doing the sum of, the sum of, um, it's easy if you look at it like this, x, x minus 1, the probability of x equals x. <clears throat> okay. Now, what does that mean in terms of our um, e to the x? Well, we know that that is e of x, x minus 1 which is the same as e of x squared minus e of x. Okay. Now, if you think about what we had as our variance, what I gave you as our standard uh, variance, and this is, of course, in your formula book. Uh, I'll change another piece of paper. Sorry, everybody. There we go. Um, so if we think about our variance, so our variance of x is g double dash x of 1 Ooh, sorry, uh, plus g dash x of 1 minus g dash x of 1 all squared. Okay, so g double dash x of 1, we can put in terms of e to the x here, is that. That is also e to the x. And that is e to the x all being squared. So that is the same as e of x squared minus e of x squared, which we know is the variance. Okay, so we have just proved it. Right, we're now going to look at some examples of it. So here we go. Here's an example. The discrete random variable x has a probability generating function given by 1 over 100,000 
9 plus t squared all to the power of 5, and we've got to find e of x. Okay, now the proof obviously is the trickiest bit, actually doing it, not very tricky at all. Uh, so here we have um, here we have our probability generating function for, oh, I've just realised though that some of this might be tricky because you haven't learnt how to differentiate using the chain rule. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'll do a, make a video on using the chain rule, unless you've started that with Mr. Fitch, which you might have done. Um, so in which case, that'll be fine. Um, but we are going to differentiate using the chain rule, and I'm going to do this as if you know how to differentiate using the chain rule, and then I'll make a video on how to differentiate using the chain rule in case you don't know it. Okay? Uh, so let's start off with our probability generating function. I'll just write it out so that it's so clear what we are doing. Um, so we have got this, and we are meant to be... Um, differentiating it with respect to t. I'm going to do that using the chain rule, so I'm going to differentiate the inside, and when I differentiate the inside, it becomes 2t. So I've got 1 over 100,000. I'm going to keep that at the front. I'm doing this quite slowly so that you understand it. So I differentiate the inside, which is 2t. Differentiate the function as a whole becomes that. Okay, so it becomes 10t over 100,000, uh, 9 plus t squared to the 4, okay, and then obviously 10 over 100,000 is just t over 10,000, so it's t over 10,000, 9 plus t squared over 4. That is what happens when I differentiate it, okay. Then I'm going to substitute in my value of 1 as t, because that's how we know to find the mean, that's what the mean is, mean is that, so I get 1 over 10,000, 9 plus 1, all to the power of 4, and so that is 1 over 10,000 uh, times 10 to the power of 4, 10 to the power of 4 is 10,000, so that is 10,000 over 10,000, which is 1, okay, that is e of x, then we have got to do our var of x is our second question. Question B was the var of x. So question B asks us to calculate the var of x. So um, we we'll start off, let's write down what we've been given so far. So our G, our um, original PGF is 1 over 100,009 plus t squared all to the 5. We differentiated it once already, depending on your success. Uh, so it's 1 over 10,000. 9 plus t squared all to the 4. Then we've got to differentiate it again. Okay, now when I differentiate this again, what do I get? So I get, uh, let's keep the 1 over 10,000 at the front. And then I get uh, 2t times 4. And then I get times 9 plus t squared all cubed. So that becomes 8t over 10,000, uh, 9 plus t squared cubed. I've done this in a funny way. Um, I'm just trying to work out what I've done differently. Sorry everyone, I'm just looking at my notes and I've done something a bit strange. And I don't know what. When I 
differential value of 2t and 2 times 4. No, I'm gonna. Oh no, I know what I've done. Oh, it's silly because here this should have a T on it. How did I miss that? That's what's gone weird. That should be a T on it. Oh, sorry everyone. That's what's gone wrong. I couldn't spot my own mistake there. Um, shame you guys aren't in front of me because then you'd have spotted it. Right, so then when we differentiate this, we've got to use the product rule. Again, I'm going to plough on as if you know what the product rule is, but you all might not. Um, anyway, so I differentiate that, it becomes 1 over 10,000, and I leave that the same, and then I uh, differentiate this, and I leave this the same, so I leave that at the front, and I differentiate this, and that becomes that, so I get 1 over 10,000, oh thank goodness I figured it out t squared to the 4 plus um, 8t squared over 10,000, 9 plus t squared cubed. There we go. Right, we don't need to make it any simpler than that. It can just stay as that is. So then when we're doing the VAR, now we're cooking our gas, uh, then when we're working out the VAR, we know that VAR of x is going to be g double dash x of 1 minus g double dash x of 1, which is the mean, of course, minus g dash x of 1 all squared, which is just the mean all squared, okay? So we already know that that's 1, and we know that that will be 1 squared, okay? So that's half b day. Um, that should be a plus. That's silly of me. Okay, so we need to sub 1 into here. So I've got um, 1 over 10,000 times 10 to the 4 plus uh, 8 over 10,000, 10 cubed, plus 1 minus 1 squared. Okay, does that, hmm, that looks like I'm saying what it is. Anyway, uh, so here we go, back to where we are. Um, oh, my calculator is now telling me I've got no battery, so it's all going very well. Uh, 10 to the 4 divided by 10,000 obviously is 1. 8 over 10,000 uh, times 10 cubed is going to be 0.8 plus 1 minus 1 squared is 1.8 on its own, or 9 over 5. That is our variance. I'm very sorry that up here went wrong. Now, um, what we not understand about this, you might not understand this differentiation, okay? So I'm going to talk to Mr. Fitch and work out what differentiation you have and haven't done, okay? But that is the mean and the variance of uh, probability generating functions, okay? Um, we've got a second example. I think I'll do the second example in a separate video as this one is going on forever.